This picture was taken in 1977 in Kramer, Pennsylvania. The picture appears to have captured a strange costume woman in white as she slowly walks by the house. The photographer was surprised to see this figure on film as no one other than the workman pictured had been present at the time the photograph was taken. Is this real or fake? In 2009, Patrick Hale snapped this picture of his backyard. In the upper left hand corner appears to be a dark presence staring straight back at him. If this figure wasn't creepy enough, Patrick claims there was no one there at the time that he took the picture. Is this real or fake? Uploaded to Reddit in 2016, the submitter explains this photo of his father was taken by his girlfriend in the Rocky Mountains in Colorado. Taken on the iPhone but zoomed in, he claims there was no one around at the time. His girlfriend also saw nothing when taking the photo. She didn't realize the mysterious figure crouching in the grass was in the picture until they returned home. Real or fake? Elizabeth Tolomeo took this picture of her husband fishing on Lake Dorothy Dunn in northern Wisconsin in the early 1990s. It was only after developing the film sometime after the trip that Elizabeth spotted the apparition of a young girl, possibly wearing a bonnet off to the right of her husband. She went on to explain that the lake had once been part of a busy logging area. When the plague hit, many young children had died. Is this spirit one of the lost children? Is this real or is it fake? Submitted by Judy Murphy, the photograph shows her son who lives in a remodeled Victorian home in Ocean Springs, Mississippi. You can clearly see the head and shoulders of someone standing directly behind a young man to the right. The second picture taken just seconds after the first photo and there was nothing there. Could this be a fake, or is this real? Taken at the old Fort Douglas Hospital in Salt Lake City, this photograph reportedly shows the spirit in a straight jacket. Investigators from the Utah Ghost Investigation snapped a photo on the third floor which was once served as the hospital's asylum. Is this real or do you think it's fake? A couple practicing taking night photography in their local cemetery captured this sinister looking figure in one of their photos. It was only after reviewing the pictures later that night that they spot an apparition standing behind a tree in the background. Is this a genuine paranormal entity or simply a person taking a late night stroll through the local cemetery? To myself, it looks like a clown. This picture was taken by Mary Jebro of the living room of a notoriously haunted house. One night, the home burned down and Mary went to take pictures of the damage. Although she clearly captured much more when she saw this apparition in front of the picture on the wall. It was not there when she took the picture. She also reported there were no electric lights on to provide mysterious shadows. Is this real or is it a fake? Hannah Butler from England snapped this creepy photograph during a ghost walk in Hessel Foreshore Woods in East Riding, Yorkshire. 
Legend has it that an orphan girl hunts the woods, watching and waiting for her lost father. Similar ghosts have appeared throughout England, including one in Canuck Chase Woods in Staffordshire. Is this real or is it fake? The paranormal team after dark investigations captured this stunning picture of a shadow man walking along Saxe Bridge at Gettysburg during one of the most recent investigations. Gettysburg is famously known as one of the most hunted places in America, with multiple sightings of spears of fallen soldiers reported each year. Is this real or is it fake? Taken in the basement of Kith Haven Assisted Living in Flint, Michigan in November 2012 by an employee who said she saw an apparition with her eyes before grabbing a phone and taking this paranormal shot. If you look carefully, you can see what appears to be a man in a white shirt sitting in a wheelchair in an empty corridor. Is this a real or a fake photo? This photograph was taken in 1991 at Maple Creek Cemetery, located in Springfield, Missouri. Some time later, when the photographer was scanning in old photos, he came across this eerie image. At first, unsure of what he was seeing, he identified a mysterious figure standing near a headstone in the upper right of the photo. But then, he zoomed in and the figure became more and more visible. Creepier still, he claims he had been alone in the cemetery that day. Is this real or fake? This photo was taken by Sean Davidson and clearly shows a mysterious, unexplainable light shining down upon a grave in a California cemetery. In the distance to the left, there appears to be an image of a small child. It's said the place where she appears is the plot of the family with a small child. Let me know if you think this is real or fake. This is known as the ghost of Pluckley Woods. Pluckley is known as one of the most haunted villages in England. Located in Ashford, Kent, this town has reported 15 ghosts that hunt various parts of the village. One such place is Daring Woods, also known as the Screaming Woods, named so because of the terrifying screams that are often heard. This photo was taken by a local resident who claims to have captured a spirit wandering the Screaming Woods. You tell me, is this real or fake? Taken sometime in the 1930s in New Zealand, this picture appears to show a female spirit nestled in the center within a huddled group of a family. Years later, as the family legend goes, relatives claim to have seen the spirit of themselves while growing up in a house during the 1960s and 70s, often standing beside or at the end of their bed, wearing a fitted white style dress with dark brooch at her wrist, dark hair, and in a bun. Is this fake? Or is this a real picture?